Greetings everybody. I'm Norbert Vokel. I'm a practicing artist and during my day job time I am working as a lung doctor, pulmonologist in critical care. I have spent uh, as an attending probably 20 years in the intensive care unit taking care of patients with respiratory failure and uh, against this background you may imagine that uh, I am very much uh, uh, in my thoughts uh, with my colleagues in pulmonary medicine that are taking care of patients with COVID. Uh, this exhibition is uh, uh, a bit uh, different from uh, what uh, you might expect. Uh, it is an installation and at the same time a tutorial. Tutorial means that I'm going to explain to you a few things about this virus uh, and then uh, we will uh, look at the, the paintings and some of the other items in this exhibition that uh, reflect on the uh, aesthetics of this uh, virus. Uh, you all see it on television every day uh, in all its beauty and its uh, horror. And uh, so let's get started with uh, uh, some of the issues that you might want to learn. Up here, uh, this image is an electromicrograph. That means that that is what the virus actually looks like under the electron microscope. And then here we have one of many models that show the different proteins of that virus in different colors. And here in pink, and you will see this over the show uh, are the so-called spike proteins. The spike proteins are important because they are making contact with the cells uh, and then uh, have a chance after they dock with a receptor to enter the cell, infect the cell, and replicate. Down here is a so-called cell culture. Uh, these are multiple cells and all of the cells that are red are infected with the virus. Here uh, is another important part of that life cycle of the virus uh, because the virus does not have to just get into the cell to replicate but it also has to exit the cell and that is accomplished with a lysosome. The green membrane shows you this like a container, a bubble and all of these different structures are individual virus particles. Um, as you uh, all know, this has become, this pandemic has become a uh, political uh, problem, particularly in the United States. And uh, I put up here in this poster a uh, editorial by the reputable New England Journal of Medicine. And uh, that is the first time ever in its 135 year history that this journal has taken a position in an editorial and been uh, extremely critical about uh, the way the pandemic has been handled in this country. And uh, the article has a caption that says, dying in a leadership vacuum. Over there from the New York Times, a headline, President Trump received a single infusion of a promising experimental virus treatment an antibody cocktail, multiple, developed by Regeneron. That was uh, published uh, in, on October 2nd, and 10 days later, the president uh, gets in front of the cameras and shouts, COVID, 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 all I hear is COVID. And the problem is uh, that we have a problem and that it will not go away uh, rather soon. Uh, this is a graph that shows that there is also infection in children. And over here on this panel, I show you uh, what the problem is and what the patients are dying from. They are dying from the virus attacking the lung. And this is a CT scan, computer tomography scan. And here in these false colors, you see in different colors the, the blood flow through uh, the lung. And everything here that is blue is basically not perfused, meaning there is no blood going through. 
and that causes increasing damage to the gas exchange apparatus of the lung. Patients need to be intubated, ventilated, and they die from this problem in the lung. We do have animal models to study that infection uh, in the mouse, in hamsters, uh, in, uh, in uh, uh, monkeys. And here I am just uh, showing you very quickly uh, the issue of the antibodies. This is the spike protein blown up. And these are different sites where the antibodies can bind to that spike and cover it up like glue or like a varnish and so then the, the spike protein cannot bind to the, to the cell and cannot enter the cell. And that is what the antibodies look like. They look like Ys. Uh, this is the specific part. This is a non-specific part of the protein. And here you can see how these Ys can attack and can bind to the virus particle and neutralize its action. And uh, instead of having antibodies, there is a company in California that has developed small proteins called mini binders. And you can see here, again, this is the virus, this is the spike protein, how these binder uh, uh, proteins are binding to the spike protein, preventing it then from entering into the cell. I now take you to the center of the gallery, the center of the Barais gallery, uh, which is like uh, at the same time also the center of the problem. And the problem is uh, the president of the United States, Donald Trump. I made that uh, uh, piece in 2017. The title is uh, The Book of Trump. And uh, uh, at a time when uh, we did not anticipate that we would have a pandemic and uh, a problem uh, of the magnitude that we have right now, uh, where in two days or so uh, we will have reached uh, the date when 300,000 Americans will have died uh, from this virus infection. Uh, this is a political statement uh, that uh, uh, depicts uh, some of the problems that uh, uh, this president has continued to have and uh, on one of the pages uh, you can see that I'm riffing on his name uh, to Trump what that all implies and you can see uh, that uh, these are all uh, attributes that uh, have been proven true and problematic uh, since uh, he started office. This uh, part of the installation is a assemblage uh, starting on the left side uh, with uh, the death scroll which represents uh, the number of patients that have died uh, from this virus infection in the state of New Mexico. And each of the patients is represented by a number and uh, although the number ends at 1856 uh, unfortunately we have to project that there will be more people dying in the coming weeks and months. After that you see uh, several models of the virus uh, showing the spike protein again and I can tell you that uh, these proteins can move and can retract and can stick out. And uh, that is part of the uh, business of the virus. Uh, it can uh, protect itself uh, from being destroyed by, uh, by cells. Um, we have Two more models of the virus. One is a, a ball that 
uh, I borrowed from my granddaughter and the other one uh, is constructed with uh, gummy bears. And then at the far right end uh, you see a three-dimensional model of a cell membrane. All those these uh, spikes sticking out are part of a cell membrane and uh, you can see also receptors sticking out. Uh, the blue uh, structure uh, represents the angiotensin converting to enzyme which is the receptor that the spike protein binds to. I next take you to this painting and uh, with the painting into the intensive care unit uh, you see a patient uh, uh, he is ventilated, you can see the ventilator tubing sticking up and there's an infusion bottle and on the nightstand is a iPhone uh, which uh, shows you the title of the painting which is the iPhone Goodbye. Here I'm channeling uh, the Canadian born American artist Philip Guston who started out as an abstract expressionist and then uh, switch to figurative painting and characteristic for his work are uh, figures uh, with this strange pink uh, against a black uh, background. And then uh, you see a bronze sculpture uh, in front of that painting uh, which uh, I had made uh, that had been casted by my friend uh, Huberto Mestas about 20 years ago and the title of that is Proning uh, because that is one of the maneuvers that uh, physicians and nurses are using in the intensive care unit uh, to improve the lung function of patients with uh, lung damage. And so uh, that is the reason why that figure is uh, uh, on its belly. And then the third part of that triad uh, is an image of uh, a patient who you can see that yourself, think about it, uh, probably has passed away. Here I'm introducing you to uh, pieces of my sketchbook healthcare providers, uh, the nurses and doctors, uh, starting uh, with the ER doctor, and then getting to the ICU doctor, ICU nurse, ICU attending, then the image of a COVID patient on fire, a grieving relative, the image of a ICU nurse after she has been uh, on, on the job for uh, 12 hours and then there's somebody who is trying to put this all together staring into the space and hopefully seeing the future. And this here shows you what the virus does to the cells. It invades the cells, it uh, will replicate and will break out of the cells, infect other cells and so uh, that is the level of uh, disease on a cellular or tissue level. Uh, these are statements that are part of that uh, installation that uh, hopefully are providing context uh, for the show, starting with binaries and uh, then going to the issue of likes and finally, the virus is replicating our greatest fears about ourselves. Next, I'm showing you here a painting uh, entitled Contact, the attack of the Death Star, uh, clearly an allusion to Star Wars, and uh, again shows you the image of the virus uh, with the spike proteins, and then uh, in these different kind of colors, the surface receptor uh, on the cells and how the virus binds to that surface receptor before it enters the cell. And then going to the left, 
you see a advertisement from the Taos News that makes it very clear that uh, this virus kills. And then uh, a little bit uh, regarding masks, uh, a mask that uh, has been used in recent weeks, and then next to it a mask that is from South Korea that uh, is made out of wood and uh, has been in the Korean tradition used when a citizen was approaching the emperor and uh, trying to field a complaint and in order not to be punished the face uh, was hidden uh, behind a mask like that. And then on the other side is a fertility dance mask from Colombia that uh, illustrates that masks have been uh, in use uh, for centuries in different cultures and uh, so uh, it shouldn't be too unusual uh, for citizens uh, to wear masks right now. And uh, that uh, uh, sequence is uh, concluded with uh, a painting that has the title A Bouquet of COVID flowers. This is the uh, title image for the entire exhibition, The Face of COVID. Uh, and you can appreciate that the lungs are sick, inflamed, and very red. And this is uh, oil stick on board, uh, a very uh, immediate technique. That is followed by grief. Again, oil stick on uh, board with a rather crude, uh, almost abstract uh, uh, elements. The next is uh, entitled Stop texting, talk to me. And lastly, uh, a sequel to uh, Grief, and uh, this has the title of Sorrow. Again, it's the same technique of oil stick on board. And then we have another few statements, starting with uh, the one that, uh, as a physician, uh, hits me uh, particularly hard uh, when people talk about the invisible danger made visible by the disaster scholars. And so, at this point, I have to identify myself as a disaster scholar. And then there are statements that are also part of our time. Because you can change, I'm unfriending you. Uh, the problem that we have that many people don't believe in science, but there's so the question, uh, do you believe in gravity? And uh, we can't afford cynicism because we are so fractured. The misspellings are deliberate. And finally, Take care of yourself. No one is going to come to rescue you. The next part of the installation uh, takes you to Pandora's box that has flung open and uh, spills out uh, some of the nasty aspects uh, of that uh, pandemic. Um, Cancelled you are. Uh, that is expressed in the language of Yoda and uh, a statement that says refusing to wear a mask is today's equivalent of drunken driving. Collectively, this year, the refusal to wear a mask will kill far more Americans than driving under the influence.
And the next uh, image shows you uh, how we have been kicking down the road the virus. And uh, only today, as the vaccines are being delivered, uh, is there a view of the future uh, without kicking down the virus. Then there are two images again of uh, the virus. Uh, actually, the ring structure uh, is uh, stylized after the late Judge Ruth Bader Ginsburg. She had something like that uh, around her neck. And then you have the crazy uh, figures, heads, you know, all uh, looking like viruses, like a virus conference. And then I show you uh, an image to uh, give you an idea about the mutation problem. Uh, this is the COVID chair with mutating spike protein genes. Each of these structures is a uh, protein, uh, a different kind of spike uh, on the uh, styrofoam uh, piece you can see the genes as they are lined up one after the other and at the end of this process of mutations uh, you have different kind of proteins that uh, may generate resistance uh, to treatment, to vaccination and to antibodies. The next sequence shows you another model of the virus. Uh, different kind of proteins constructing this aesthetically pleasing particle of a virus. And uh, the virus is everywhere also on the stage of theaters and the virus is in the hand of Buddha and the next poster uh, shows you uh, some of the aspects of this pandemic uh, on the left upper field, a cartoon from the 1918 influenza pandemic, sneeze but don't scatter, then uh, how commercial uh, masks uh, have been distributed, uh, advertisement for chewable Clorox recommended by Donald Trump, and then finally, uh, the image of America on life support and coffin stacked uh, high containing victims of the virus. Uh, finally, uh, an illustration of uh, what happens uh, when you not wear a mask. Uh, this is not even a super spreader. Uh, and uh, in reality, the particles that are expelled from the nose and the mouth uh, travel actually quite a bit uh, greater distances than shown here on that image. This picture, again, in the language of Yoda, is entitled Divided We Are, showing you these uh, two figures and the one on the left has a beak that is an allusion to the mask that was worn by the plague doctors in the medieval times. And uh, this line here uh, is 
separating uh, these two people. And then ending up on a positive note, uh, uh, this image is entitled Transcending the Plague and Transcending trans Transcension is symbolized with uh, this uh, figure uh, moving upwards and you can still see here the traces of the COVID uh, that are all over that person marking it probably for a very long time. But uh, the meaning is that uh, we are going to overcome this pandemic and uh, move on. <laughs>